Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Glowberries. We got glowberries. And I replaced all the torches that I had along here with glowberries. I think it's kind of cool and uh, it's nice. They put off as much light as a torch and they look prettier. They're less hidden. I had torches on this block here. You couldn't really see them unless you got kind of underneath. But I think it's okay. And it gives a nice even glow and I, I like it. And I don't have torches all over the place. It's pretty cool. Um, so these, I, I, I put them all up. Bone wheeled that uh, clipped them with the shears. Yeah, shears. And yes, I enchanted my shears with unbreaking and mending. Um, and then uh, and then I bone mealed them to put glow bears on it. And so I've got plenty of light. Wendell says it's all right. Yes. Okay. So what time is it? It's getting oh. late. Let's go. Let's go breed up the cows. Now notice, snow. Um, I realized I don't have a lot of ice. I don't have an ice farm. Or I do, before I put these slabs over here, these blocks of ice water were freezing into ice. Oh yeah, I got more llamas. Another water trader. Uh, so that's like a three block ice farm. It's okay. That's uh. That's something, not very big. Um, so I'm gonna try winging something because I want a bigger ice farm. And here on the mountain side where it snows, it should be, I should be able to build an ice farm and I should be able to do it pretty much wherever I want. So I have an idea. So if we look here, this is the edge of a, of a chunk so if I come out here and I make sure to light it up, we have to be near the back of the mountain. There's just no two ways about it. And we're still in a grove, which is this mountain stuff. Why they call that a grove, I don't I don't know. Grass. Look. I have an exit to the back of the mountain and, but notice here I'm in a meadow, but I step over here, I'm in a grove. So this is the end, uh, this is the line, this is the dividing line of the chunk here. So what I can do, oh, I can do it right here. And that's snow. Yeah. Okay. So this is all excellent news. So what I can do is I can put in blocks here and ladders. And we can build a, we can build up into the sky. I've been making a bunch of snow with Wendell over there because he's nice that way. And I've got a bunch of blocks. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I want to go up a ways, I think. Well, I know because based on that, we're at what, Y112 here? I think, I think the water will freeze at any altitude here in this biome. And if not, I should only have to go up about eight blocks before it will. So let's just do this. We're gonna go, we're gonna make this our little access tunnel. And with the dirt up here, we're just gonna drop some snow down there. And right there. Yeah, and then we're gonna take some of these ladders. Um, I could use scaffolding, I suppose. That's regular snow. What is this? I don't know what that is. 
uh, we're underneath a freaking tree there. So let's switch to the axe. Did we come up right underneath the tree? Yes, we did. Excellent. Could not have planned it better myself. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the snow farm in this chunk, but I'm going to build it up a little bit. Like above the trees here, maybe? I don't know. But we can... Uh... So we can keep placing snow blocks here. And I can build it in. I can enclose it later. I don't need to... Doesn't need to be all finished just yet. All right, put that there, put that there. All right, and then how high up do we need to go? Because I can place the ladders down here like this, right? No, that's not what I needed. I have silk on here, right? Yes, I do. Aha! Okay, so. Uh, we are at here. This is why. So I want to get to a point where this... Oh, I should be, I should be very careful here. I want to get up above the trees. Let's put it that way. Um, so I should, or I should go get my leather boots. So I'm thinking like a platform kind of at the tree top level here would be good. And cause here we're at 128. Like above that peak, maybe. And then we can, oops, careful. Um, then we can build out a platform that covers the whole chunk. That chunk, not the one I'm in, that chunk. And then that way, we can get the water to freeze throughout the entire chunk. Oh well. Um, so up a couple more. I think this would work. So this is at 136. Doesn't feel like an especially round number. Oh, wait. That chunk. Oh, it's all inside. Okay, it's, it's short of the, the thing. Okay, good. This I think this will work. And the snow should be fine. It's not going to melt or anything. Did I screw this up? I think I did. I wanted to make my ladder to be outside the chunk. And it is not. Oh, it's outside the chunk this way. Um, okay, I think that'll work. I need to think about this. And I should probably light up this area over here, otherwise it's gonna become a bit of a mob farm. Ah, this is going to be perfect. And I should go get my leather boots because I need to go chop down trees here, maybe do some terraforming. Uh, oh, I've got caves here. I want to do something about that. Can 
Okay, so this represents the actual chunk. So this would be the area where I want the water to freeze. And we can pretend that it's perched on that, uh, it's perched on that peak right here. Okay, so let me go get, let me go get my leather boots. Let me light this because no point in having mobs spawning all the way up here. And this is the halfway point, correct? Oh, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Because all the, all the torches are going to come out. Eventually. But I'm going to need to cut down those trees and all that fun stuff. Okay, so here's the chunk. Um, I need to put walls on the chunk. This ladder may need to move. I may need to scoot it down a couple blocks that way. Not the worst thing in the world, but I think along here I want to have... Yeah, I'm going to want to extend this platform at least one or two blocks each direction, each side, um, so that I can flood this entire thing with water. And then I'm going to want to put a row of pistons on one side to prevent the water from, from flowing. And then I'm going to want to put a little reserve area back over here to keep the water from freezing. So it'll be something like this. On this side, it'll be, the water will sit here. This will be the side, and this will be up. It'll be like this. Water will sit in here, and I'll have this whole side like this. Oops, oh, there we go. And we will have water along there. Covered, that water will itself won't freeze. And then along this side, we just have an edge. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move this pillar. That's okay. I was thinking along this edge we put in the we put in some pistons. So I put a row of pistons facing downward. It's going to be interesting to get them in place, but the piston downward along here. And then we have water behind. So the water flows out. And then with all of those and all of those to create source blocks along the entire, the entire platform. So my thought is this, if I take a trap door Put the pistons out on the bar. I put a trap door here. I can come up here and piston, piston, piston. Oh, this is genius. I won't be able to put a piston there. Let me put my ax back on the bar here. Chop out that. And am I automatically gonna stand up? Yes, at that point, yes, okay. So then all of these, so I'll have to put water in behind here and I can Remove these. For now. Actually, that, that will have to be covered, but we'll leave it open for right now. Be 
because we need to put in more we need to put in more pistons I need to bring it all the way over to here and can I put a trap door on the piston yes oh this is genius Uh oh. No. Am I sh Why am I going so slow? One, two, three. Huh. I think I may, uh, I'm short one piston. I thought I made 16. Okay, well, we need to go make another piston and sleep. Okay, and then I'll need to grab some redstones, then a, then a lever or something so we can test that the pistons work. And if they do, you should be a reasonably good shape. So let's do this. Let's see if stone or snow will let me. Create a redstone signal. Uh, yes, it does. And then that means if I run a line of redstone down here, like that. Okay, so then I have water here, right? Oh, oh, that's why I had extra, that's why I was short one. I have a piston down here where I don't need one. Um. This is outside the trunk, so this can just be can just be blocks. Okay, excellent. So now Oh, that's so good. And it's exactly the whole chunk. No need for a repeater or anything. That's so cool. Okay. And then if I come here, and this can just be blocks water and then I swap this out for this and put down more water here and I refill both This needs to be a block. This can just be a block. And see, there are breaking. That's why this needs to be covered. That one needs to be broken. Water can come out here. And I need to break this. 
Now it should be full on. I wonder if I have depth stride a book. It'll make some of this a whole lot easier. So now if I put water there, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. one there. Huh. So this guy here, I need to take out this guy. Or this guy. Okay, why is this not behaving the way I think it should? There we go. Okay, so now... I can do this. And I have these guys back here. These will freeze. Those back there will not underneath the cover. Okay. I have an ice farm. So there's some work to do to make this usable. But I have an ice farm because I can take my silk touch pick here and go like that and I have ice. I have ice. These are all source blocks. Oh, this is so great. The nice thing about uh, using the snow blocks for the background here is the pickaxe is really slow to break it. So if I accidentally go too far, I don't have to worry about accidentally knocking out my snow blocks. Um, so there we go. All right, well, so I've got some work to do. This wall is too high. All these walls are too tall. This needs to be here. I need to walk way around it. I need to light things up. I need to figure out how far away I can put light here so that I don't melt or prevent the corners from freezing. But this is all good. Cool. Um, huh. This works question is, can I power a line of... of pistons? Oh, this needs to be covered too, so it doesn't freeze. Can I do this and put the lever here? No. But can I put the lever here? Yes. So I don't need these. I don't need this snow. I can just lay down the redstone directly on on the top of the pistons and then I can lay like a slab or something on top to prevent it from getting washed out in the event that water gets on top. Okay, so this is here to keep this water from freezing. 
this is not necessary. Uh, this this back row is just the back end, so this top row maybe isn't necessary. That top row and that top row is not necessary. I need just to put in. Uh, yeah, I need to put in a platform and some safety rails and some light so that we don't get mob spotting up here. But let's go down and sleep right now because right now this is good. I have a, I have a dice farm. Very nice. All right. Well, that's going to be it. Just a quickie little thing. Um, wanted to capture that. Oh, one other thing I wanted to do. Potion of fire resistance. Since I have some redstone in my pocket. I haven't done any brewing yet. Wait, why isn't that working? Oh, I need some blaze powder. I have blaze rods here, right? I have all chests and other stuff. There should be some blaze rods in there. Nether rack? No. Nether. I know I have more blaze rods. Are they in mob drops? Blaze rods. Whew, okay. So two blaze powder. Blaze powder goes in here. There we go. Now we're brewing. And when I remove this from the blaze from the from the brewing stand, I should get the advancement, I think. So we'll just wait for the, the glug 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 sound. There we go, local brewery. So now, this is an eight minute fire resistance potion, which is far better than the two minute fire resistance potion that I started out with. Okay, very good, isn't it? All right. Okay, well, that's uh that's it. Oh one other thing. Ah I keep thinking of one other thing. Um so Barb makes things cave along came along and gave me all the glowberries and you see I also got some flower and azalea bushes from her. So I'm gonna have to build a moss farm because I think that will be useful for a variety of things. The moss block is cool to start with, and then secondarily uh, I can turn that into a bone meal, like an automatic bone meal farm, which can power some other things. And the moss carpet can actually power a, uh, a furnace. So, okay, well, I've got some work to do here. And got to redo some remodeling to be a little careful. Snow is cheap. There we go. And extend out the platform and then put up some railing and figure out how far away I need to put light so this doesn't melt. But, uh, but yeah, so that's it. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I have a nice farm. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.